So I'm over here at Hayes and I found myself some boots. But check these out. These hunting boots are awesome. Good looking boots. Here's what I'm getting. Mm -mm. You two, guys, gals, what's up? It's Josh FJ55 Iron Pig. As always, thank you for clicking on that video. I appreciate it. So, I sure do hope that the saga is finally over. If you watch my video I posted this morning, I had filmed that earlier in the year, and uh, those shoes turned out to still suck. So I got some new ones. Just a little airborne action here. These are the Ariats. Ariat. I don't know how they pronounce that. Let's get down. I don't even know what these are. Found these at Hayes. There's two types of Hayes stores. There's Hayes Grocery and there's Hayes Outdoor and Clothing. And here they are, baby. You saw them in the store if I put the inset video in it. 11 double E. Or 44 and a half in Europe. Or in the UK, which isn't Europe apparently. It's a 10. They're the Work Hog 8 inch. H2O's. They have composite toe. Here's a model number. 1001943. Let's get back up here. Alright, here we go. Let's open this box up. I thought this was a cool cover to a magazine. Check that out. The new popular science. Is that awesome or what? The last fighter pilot. I haven't read the article yet. Supposedly it's about going to drones and stuff. Uh, a little more tags on there. It's a composite toe and it's uh, waterproof. Yeah, there you go. Or in this case, waterproof pro, whatever that means. So these have already been disheveled because I went ahead and uh, yeah, I tried them on to make sure. I tried on both, on both feet even. This is the part that keeps the, uh, the upper from crushing. Nice little RA packet. Here's one boot. Here's some plastic to help keep it safe. And uh, what do we got here? This is about all else there is. Lucky Flowers Anti-Mold Sticker. Check it out. Just knocking stuff over left and right. Out of control. Hurry up. Very cool. I'm going to hit pause real quick. See if I can turn the light on on the camera here. No, I couldn't just hit pause. Oh my. It still didn't work. Let's try this again. That was fun. Back and forth. I had it on auto for some reason, and for some reason it wasn't kicking in. Love when technology is not working the way I want it to work. Don't you agree? So let's take a look at the boots. Let's get this crap out of the way. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, wait a minute. What do we got here? Product registration. Congratulations on your purchase of Area Footwear. At Area, we take pride in everything we make, and we trust that you will be happy with the quality and workmanship of our products. To qualify for a warranty program, register your new footwear today at Ariat.com by clicking on Register Product on our homepage. It's fast, easy, and sure as your product is logged into our system to view full warranty policy. Visit Ariat.com slash customer service. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to check that out. And I'll report back to you, ladies and gentlemen, on uh, the what fors and have yous about it. Let's get all this crap out of the way. Lots of crap in the way. Anything in the toes? Oh, see it? There you go. Look at that. There you are. See? Pretty fancy. Pretty fancy. More of this toe stuff. Alright, so here we go. We'll move the one that's naked back there. One nice thing about Ariats is it comes with the lace and I guess you'd call this a metatarsal protector as well. Let's turn it that way. That way? No, oh, it's fine where it's at. It's got a composite toe. Meets or exceeds, you know, safety standards, blah, blah, blah. 
The tongue is nice, it's really soft, it's got a slight cushion to it. Here's for all you label type people, like myself. I like to see the labels personally. There's your style. US, we went through all that. It's made in China, unfortunately. Leather upper. Balance. Man-made, whatever that is. I think that's the sole. And your patent and your ASTM, all that good stuff. The soles are removable. Check it out. It's got kind of like a, a firmer Dr. Scholl's type of thing. Dr. Scholl's is usually too soft and it wears out quickly. And that is actually sewn into it. So that's kind of cool. It's probably sewn and glued. Nope, just sewn. And I'm going to tell you folks, see if you can get a picture of the inside there. Yeah, kind of, sort of. I'm impressed with this boot so far. Look how high the tongue comes. So you're waterproof all the way up to the second eye, which is right here. That's really good for a boot. It looks like cardboard, does not feel like it. When I, I was a toss up, I saw some really cool looking Red Wing suit, shoes that I had seen online and they had them at this Hayes place. And they were specifically made for climbing ladders and it had a, a composite shank, but also had an outer protector shank that went all the way across here, which would have been great for standing on those metal round rungs. And I was excited. I wasn't excited about the price, it was over $200, but I put my foot in it, and bam, right in the heel, there's this like piece of round plastic or something that was pushing up, and it was digging into my heel. On almost $250 shoes, you shouldn't have that problem. Maybe $10 shoes, but... And this is 2016. You gotta give it the program. Let's take a look at the tags. Let's make this a long video. Composite toe, we already talked about that slightly. Waterproof, pro, whatever that means. Electrical hazard. Look at the cool looking E there. Is that neat? Is that an e bomi hazard? Here, we've got some more literature. Uh, work boots offer exceptional comfort, flexibility, durability. These boots stand up to the harshest environments while keeping you comfortable on the job all day. Work hard, work smart. When I put these shoes on, my feet instantly went, oh. Yeah, that sounded like what you think it did. They, my feet were just freaking happy. I even jumped up and down a few times. It felt Awesome. The leather upper is somewhat supple. It's got a cool color to it. Feels suede -ish. On the inside, it is so comfy. Oh my god, I, I really hope these boots work out because I want to do a long-term review on it. It's got some type of stability platform. The work hard, work hard, work hog stability platform features an extra wide stability shank system paired with a lightweight cushioning EVA midsole to provide great all-around comfort and reduce foot fatigue the best option for climbing ladder work. So that's also what I'm looking forward to because I climb ladders many times, every single day I climb poles at least once a week. So I'm gonna put these puppies to the test. Extra wide shank, oil and slip resistant, high abrasion, blah, 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 Goodyear welt construction, EVA midsole. For those of you that don't know, Goodyear welt construction doesn't mean Goodwill, Goodyear tires, it's this. So that it's sewn in like that. See how that thread? And I like the color match thread on there, by the way. It's got this, in person, it's kind of a, a, a light copper color. Let's take a look at the boot. Look at that, it's still got the little sticker on it. It's got an ATS Max, whatever that means, slip resistant, oil resistant. I'm sorry, slip resisting. Some gnarly lugs. It reminds me of uh, Jungle Combat, Combat Boots, not quite as aggressive though. Goodyear welting means that if you wear your soles out, you can take this to a shoe repair and they'll re-sole it for you. You can do that with these as long as the leather upper is good. This is your upper, this is your lower. We've got brass eyelets, brass runners, and one of my favorite features on boots, brass eyelets at the top to cinch it down if you need to. I'm stoked. You got a nice little stamping right here. It says area waterproof composite toe. And uh, the laces. They're pretty dope too, check that out, man. The same copper color is what's threaded into here. Really nice attention to detail. On your tongue, where it's got some cushion to it, so I'm psyched about that. It comes up almost a full tongue, almost to the top, which is great for waterproofness. You've got the, what I call a tongue holder, I don't know the actual name, where your laces go through to help keep your tongue up and keep it from scrunching down. And as I said earlier, it's already got the metatarsal cover or yeah, metatarsal cover right here. And they even stitched that. Very impressive boot. I am just freaking psyched up about these boots. 
can't tell you how excited I am. And uh, let me see, do I have my receipt with me? I do have my receipt with me. Let's take a look. Yes, still sporting the SOE wallet. This wallet is Vigin. Hey, what is it? Work Hunt Play since 1982. Hey, these boots were 20% off, by the way, ladies and germs. So it's $167.96 minus $41.99. So you do the math. You know, $120 some odd dollars, almost $120. For what is normally a hundred and seventy plus dollar pair of boots. I noticed all their prices there were not your normal prices everywhere else. They were lower plus they had discounts. Oh my god. There'll be more videos to come. Don't you worry. If you have any questions, comments, smart remarks, you know what to do. Throw them down below. And I will be putting up a video here in the next, probably Monday. When I actually wear these for work. Today is Saturday. Um, enjoy.